parts for the CZ. Um, then I'm going to do upgrading. Uh, all the stuff is from Cajun Gunworks. Um, and just going to give you a quick overview of some of the stuff I'm putting in. And hopefully I have some videos later of installing them for you. Um, so, let's get the CZ there. Um, basically what I'll be doing is I got the, the firing pin kit. The, I think it's the ultra light kit or something like that. Um, comes with firing pin. And then you have, if you can open up these tiny little bags. Jesus. There we go. So you have two different mainsprings um, for different uh, weights. And he gives you a list of stuff. Some of it's the same as on the website. Um, as far as descriptions of what the spring does and um, like the black one is better for federal and Winchester primers whereas the blue I think is a little stiffer but will pretty much fire it, you know fire any primer or any round pretty much you know you can throw at it uh, looks like you got a new roll pin for that guy right there for when you take out the firing pin and then you got your firing pin block spring that also comes in that little kit um so that's that kit and i think if i remember right this kit was only like 44 bucks for this and one thing they do know in the in the instructions here or i guess list of stuff is that if you do their upgrades with their stuff, dry firing is okay. Um, I guess if you mitch max mismatch, excuse me, stuff that um, it, you could have issues dry firing. I also got the race hammer kit. Um, so you get the race hammer. Let's see if I can pull this out. These are going to prove difficult for me, apparently, today. Well, you're definitely sure you're not going to lose them. So, with that race hammer kit, you get the actual hammer itself. I don't know how well I can zoom into this without it being blurry. Um... But you get your race hammer. You also uh, comes the hammer kit comes with uh, the adjustable sear. You got there get the adjustment. And then I believe this little yeah. guy should be the actual adjustment screw that will then go into the sear. And then I also got two of these little beefed up pins. For the assembly, um, I guess he recommends that. Um, the only thing I would have said probably, because you know, I, I read the notes um, on his site. The only thing that probably would have been better is if he just, you know, added a few bucks to the price of the kit and just threw those springs in. Um, that way people don't forget. I mean, I think you can use what you have, but you know, these parts are just recommended. <laughs> Um, for better use and things made in the U.S. so you can't beat that either so that's, that's the race hammer kit and then I also got their oh, I forget what the description was but it's their sight kit um, front and rear sights uh, there's the rear um, bunch of stuff in here as far as how to install it and safety stuff um, I guess Dawson Precision are the manufacturers it's the if 
you can read this. EZD940 um, site kit. Basically, you get a. Let's see if we can open this little guy today. Can work on a gum, but you sure as hell can't open the bag for the parts. There we go. I think I'm getting it down. See if I can. And they got some lube and stuff on there. Keep it protected. So it's stuck in there pretty good. Get the Allen key out. Yeah, it's correct. To a point where you don't want to fuck with it. So you got blacked out rear sight. You got the serrations on there. I don't know how well you can or cannot see that. Um, there you go, a little bit. Um, so that'll uh, do for a nice sight window. And then you have here. Is your fiber optic front? Um, these this is loose installed, so you will have to do the heating and stuff to keep it in place, which I'll do later. These are already cut, as you could probably see right there. See, there's no machining that you have to do for these um, for when you take out the front sight normally. And what's nice, so nice about this kit is it comes with an extra red an extra green rod so you have spare replacements and you can swap them um, so you have those options there um, and then let's see what else we have here um, oh yeah it also comes with a polymer punch tool a little plastic punch so you can drift out the rear sight and not mar anything up. And I think this whole kit with the front and rear and the punch tool was like $87 something like that and then the race hammer kit was like uh, 123 something like that give or take um, but those are the sights um, So yeah, those are all the parts um, that I got. So with all that, that should be turn this gun to be an even better shooter. Um, some of you saw I did a quick little review on this um, as far as being a very friendly left-handed shooter. I'm just going to make some improvements as far as sights, trigger, hammer, just to smooth everything out. And while I'm also in there, I will probably polish some stuff up just, you know, just help smooth anything else out that I can possibly smooth out to just make this gun even better. So a little bit of a DIY trigger job on top of the drop-in components. Um, but I hope to do all this on video the best I can and be able to show you guys. Um, so that's that. Those are the parts. Uh, any questions on that, just drop me a line or... Um, leave a comment or something um, and hopefully I will be able to get all this done and not screw anything up. Thanks guys.